Well, it's early on Monday afternoon and we're here at GWCT and we've just seen Chief Executive Teresa for a quick photo and I just wondered, gentlemen, if you would give a quick overview of how the Gamekeepers Welfare Trust started because you're both founding trustees, aren't you? Yeah. Um, the the pr thing that precipitated it was uh, a bequest from Sir Joseph Nickerson to Gamekeeper Welfare um, and no organisation to receive it because it didn't really exist at that stage. Um, and there was also a sum of money that had been called the Gamekeeper's Benevolent Fund uh, that had not moved across to BASC when the original Gamekeepers Association joined up with BASC. Um, so with those two things in place, uh, organisations all came together and formed the Gamekeepers Welfare Trust. I was one of, I was the GWCT trustee. Richard Van Oss, who was Chief Executive here, was um, very instrumental in pulling all of that together. Um, and John Swift and the other organisations. Um, and then, as time went on, the NGO uh, was formed and they became a, a key part of the, uh, the story as well. Uh, and then Helen's um, Gamekeepers Welfare Network, which also uh, came into the, into the fray. Um, and uh, Lord Guernsey, as he was then, uh, now Lord Aylesford, kindly puts uh, another piece of money in from his family charitable trust so that we got a foundation of about fifteen thousand pounds, twenty-seven, thirty years ago now, um, and the Gamekeepers Welfare Trust has grown from there. Yeah, so we're thirty years old this year, and Walter, this means a great deal to you as well, doesn't it? It means a great deal to you as well, doesn't it, Walter? Yeah. Originally, um, Don. the money from the what was the benevolent yeah. fund and Don and Ian Grindy took it up to the BSC and that that's the original yeah. beginning of it yeah um, but yes I, I, I've been with it ever since it started and um, I'm, I'm very proud to say that as trustees, myself and the others have helped an awful lot of people um, indirectly and directly with the trust. Yeah, it's a bit windy here, so I hope everybody can hear us. But um, it's uh, it's a lovely spot, isn't glorious, it? Glorious, isn't it? Yeah. When I first came here 40 years ago, this was a greenhouse. And a trainee advisor was allowed one row in the greenhouse to grow his tomatoes. <laughs> but the greenhouse was a wooden one and no one was prepared to do the maintenance and it all fell to bits. <laughs> yeah. Did they still have the dinners? No. No, it, that fizzled out. Um, there were so many other gamekeeper events happening around the countryside that that mm. fizzled out. So our old gamekeeper dinners here. We had about so 20 years off. Yeah. It was a good, good idea at the start. Yeah, so good. we're on to our next 30 years now, aren't we? <laughs> That's the way. Yeah. Onwards and upwards. Yeah. Onwards and upwards. Yeah, and um, we're here for everybody in the gamekeeping community. Absolutely. And we hope everybody. that this little trip helps people to know about that. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Helen. Thank you very much. You're welcome.